too light in complexion and that he was taller than the first a bit taller than the first intruder correct uma umthazake ngaleso sikhathi ke lona owesibilike wathi ke yena ke wayengamhlophe noma wayengakhanyike futhi ke wayemude kunalo uwoqala yes that's correct now your story is that the first suspect pointed the firearm at the occupants of the house that is yourselves and demanded money and cell phones umuchazake uthi lona owoqala wase ekhombake ababehlezi phakathi endlini ngesibham wabesefunake imali kanye nama cell phone yes that's correct and further that when he made such a demand he was speaking in the zulu language correct futhi ekusho lokho ngesizulu that's correct yes now if you can repeat in isizulu exactly which words did he say when he made such a demand uma ungakuphinda ka lokho awakusho ukuphi ukusho futhi ke ngesizulu ukuthi wathini ume kusho wathi khipha ni mali nama cell phone he said to take out money and cell phones and in saying or uttering those words did the first the first suspect use any expletives or swear words ume kusho lokho ke ingaba wayesebenzisa yini inhlamba no when he uttered those words what was his demeanor uwaye kanjanike noma uma umbekile noma iyenake nje isimosaka waye kanjani uma ekusho lokho wabuka kale serious he looked serious and when he uttered those words what was the tone of his voice izwi lakheke noma iphimbo lakheke lali kanjanike noma itone ye voice yakhe it was firm now just for contextual purposes what were you paying your attention to before you noticed that there were people entering the house yini owawibhekile wena noma ke attention yakho ngathi ke uyayiyonake nkathi ubusubonake noma uqaphelake ukuthi kunabantu abangena endlini was looking or my attention was on Kelly who was sharing a joke uh, to us now would you agree with me that being pointed with a gun at night in a robbery situation is a terrible and frightening ordeal uzovumake uma ngithi ukukhonjwa ngesibhamu kwenzeka lokho ke usebusuku futhi ukuthi yinto leyo eyisabisayo kunjalo that is correct and the men that entered that house that is the first and the second suspect were complete strangers to you you had never seen them before that they correct nokuthi laba babili abangena endlini ngaleli yalanga ke ukuthi kwakuwa abantu ongabazi oqala futhi ubabona ngaleli yalanga yes that's correct and furthermore you will agree with me that being pointed with a firearm by a stranger demanding money and phones was fraught with danger because there was a firearm involved nokuthike kwenzekeke lokho ukhonjwe ngesibhamu nokuthi kufunweke lokho kwakufunwake ukhonjwe ngesibhamu ukuthi manje ke kwakuse nengozike ekhona phakathi ngoba kunesibhamu yes that's correct would i then be correct to say you were personally yourself were you frightened at the sight of the first suspect pointing you with a firearm and demanding money and cell phones were you personally 
frightened. Sin Kulumanga, I get much Utu and Nagi, now Muntu Umila, Nagi Pamguaco, Use Ukumbi and Gespam, Ufunima, Ufuna cell phone, Guti, there, you know, there, you, Eagwens and you, Uguti, Usab. Gaffrey's and Yangas, Uti Gunzagala. I just froze and didn't know as to what was happening. And when the suspects entered the house, what was the state of illumination in the house like? What was the state there was light all over the place. For, for clarification purposes, <coughs> when you say it was light all over, let, let, let's break it down. The kitchen area, are you saying the lights were on in the kitchen area? Iban is on the mama light, are you kanya a kitchen? A kitchen wa kanya ku kanya dining room, ku kanya pasji. Uh, the kitchen, the dining room, as well as the passage, the lights were on. Now, the first assailant with the firearm, or the first suspect, when he enters, and at the stage where he stops and points the firearm at the people in the house, exactly where did he stand relative to the sofa, your side of the sofa? Where you were sitting. As Kuma Mangalo would call Age Unge Nile, Uzutla, Amekona, Uma Gupin and Dawa, my lag in the couch, or Oshis Giona, when? Why Menji Pamba wait? Gapa one left. He was just standing in front of us on the left side. And in which hand was the firearm held by the first suspect as he pointed the firearm at the people in the house? Nan Jengoba is Pam Blesses, Kumbi, the Bantu Lava Pagatentini, is Pam Blesses as a good city Sandra, sir. Logo answer Kumbo, got on the way's Kumbi lesson. That I can't recall, but he that was pointing us with the fire with it. And the position in which he was pointing the firearm at you. What position did he point the firearm at you? Was it hands chest in front, hands to the side? What position was that? I think that was the position that he was pointing to you. He was pointing to the side of the chest. In front of the chest. Now, when that first suspect demands money and cell phones, did anyone from the people in the house respond to that demand? Oh, my SFUNAGE IMALI na my cell phones. Ukona yini, ni nage, no makulaba, but pagatently nige, owa respondag, no ma owa pendulage, good logo, I'll show you. No. Sorry, my lord, may I have a request? Yeah, fine. If I want to drink, because some judges, yeah, if I want to drink water, because some judges are physical, can no, I drink no, okay. from here? As long as there's no alcohol in the water. <laughs> <laughs> now, the firearm that you saw, from your vantage point where you were seated saying he was towards the left on the sofa where you were. Can you describe it? Uh Pam Lesige or Swanaga Gunda or says you on a umastas. Firstly, I am not uh, familiar with firearms. And what I know is that it was uh, darkish. 
It was not the big heavy uh, firearms, but it was small. Okay, let, let's break it down. <coughs> A firearm is composed of three sections, and, and I'll explain them to you. The first part is the part, the iron part, this long thing. It's called the barrel of a firearm. That's a pipe like, hollow pipe like, where the bullet travels to leave the firearm. Because you are going to ask you, Pam, you are going to be a pump, you are going to be a pump, you are going to be a pump. What color was that part of that firearm? Lang a pump, you are going to be 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 a pump. Firstly, now it's like you're speaking French because I don't even know or understand what you are saying now. Okay, let's break it down. In general, are you saying the whole firearm was black or blackish in color? In Abe Utige, Sasim Nyama, Oganyesi, Takishi, and Uchilog and Gombal. So, I'm going to make a combang as Pam when you saw my Utatish Pam, good to see so bony sickness in Jan. If you are pointed to you with a firearm, are you now going to stand and study what kind or, uh, of a firearm it is? We are, we are going to have a problem if you answer my questions with a question because I don't answer to you. Si zoba nenginga ge umagu uguti umbuzo wami upendula ngumbuzo ngoba minage angpenduli kwen. Kutu umbuzo wako maunga atatili utungu upendule lanja. But how do you expect me to answer your question if it is not clear? What is it about the question that is not clear to you? Hini inga atatili inga umbuzo kwen. The firearm you are asking. No more cars. I'm trying to make me look at his tombs. Maybe I'm trying to go on to sell and get his tombs. The firearm you are asking me about because I told you that I know nothing about firearms. Maybe if you were to put a photo in front of me and tell me, but if you explain using your hands, then I am lost. The simple thing that I'm asking you is. If you relate to your friends that I was pointed with a firearm at an incident of a robber, you say it was black and silver or the handle was brown. That's what I'm trying to ask from you. I'm not saying you are a fire expert. You are a dancer, you are a singer, I know that. Angiti ge uungoti kuipam. Kutoa ge uma usukazela kasi tu kazela bana mbako duguti bengkonjwe ngi spam uzoti ge la emuva ge sasi black nama sasi silver uti langa pambi ge sasi mnyama angi awa zoguti uyatani sage so angi shuguti unolowa zinge ipam milo kwenye kubuza ngazi angi sna angi spam uti sasi sasi mfumbuli I didn't notice or take note of the firearm as to what kind it was. Or what the color was. Now, ju just to make sure that I understand where you were seated relative to where the person pointing the firearm was, so that perhaps we can clear this up once and for all. Uh, I'll ask that exhibit. D, uh, photos 57 there of be shown to you, please.
<clears throat> now, in terms of the picture, <coughs> if my recollection serves me well, you and your mother, before the arrival of Longe Twala, you were seated on the sofa on the left. Correct. No, that's not true. Okay, that's why I said if my memory, memory serves me well. Can you jog my memory, please? I'm seated on the sofa on the right. Thanks for that. Now, when, when, when the first suspect enters, I know that there's the beginning of the arc here. Relative to that, where was the first suspect at when you saw him pointing the fire I'm at the people in the house? Yes, but I don't Just where the carpet ends. He was standing uh, on the tiles. Now let's put an estimation of a distance between where you were seated and where he was. Just give me your educated guess in terms of distance. Firstly, I hated maths at school. So uh, when it comes uh, to uh, distances and measurements, that's something I'm unable to do. Okay. Let, let, let's, let's take a simple, simple uh, guesstimate from where Mr. Jonas is, the Mr. Interpreter, to the end of the big screen or somewhere uh, relative, uh, can you estimate the distance from where Mr. Jonas is towards the end of the screen, or is it further than that. Even that is difficult because that's not our home. Okay, let's home. Just let me not be labor this point. Uh, your view of the firearm as it's pointed to you, is it from the side? Do you see it from this side or from the front by the bank? From the side. And from that vantage point, you couldn't tell the color of the fire. As I'm saying that it was darkish. Let, let, let me track back to a question I asked you, and in response there too, I, I asked you. When the firearm was pointed at, to, at the people in the house, what was the reaction? You stated that you froze. You remember that? Yes, I remember that. But in your testimony yesterday, you said when this thing was happening, you immediately took your phone and hid it under a cushion. Do you remember that? Yes, I said so, but I did that. After long way, it pushed him. Now, going forward, you, your story is that the second suspect then, in fact, let me put it this way so that we don't confuse each other. When the, 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 the two suspects entered and the first one produces a firearm, Kelly Kumalo then runs to a bedroom that is opposite 
the kitchen that's facing the kitchen like this, correct? Bang, can you like a lava bilige, lona, or Wokalagi is a kipe is pam, no matter a petege is pam. Was a balagi, okay, and get a camera, a condene, nekish. Yes, that's correct. And your story is. Why do you say story? Please. Mm. Just say evidence, please. We are lawyers. Okay. All right. Your 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 testimony or evidence is that the second suspect then follows or chases after Kelly to that bedroom, correct? Utige, no mu fagas baku butige, lowest bilige, wase elande lage ukeli, ugiak le lokamel. Yes, that's correct. And in that process, he can he gets into the room and closes the door, and the second suspect tries to push the door from the outside. Correct? Yes, that's correct. Now. Where were you when you observed that interaction between Kelly and the second suspect? Well, opinion that we are not a lot of when they are part of the law, so that we can deny you okay. Gangs are still pants, loving bon second, which means silicon. I was still seated at the same position that I pointed. By the way, when did this second suspect enter the house? As I've already said that as they came in, they were following each other. So as the one just sto stood there, and then the other one uh, stood in, uh, in the kitchen. Was the second suspect also armed with a weapon of some sort? In our now, we always believe that now, as soon as Kali always pet, I didn't see that. Now, clarify for for me this. Uh, in in your, your your evidence, you say the second suspect stood. Next to the next to the stove, uh, do you recall saying that yesterday? Oh, yeah, Kumbula in the month and Ascala and Kalum Tazelo, who take Fagas Bako, lowest village, where Maggie, Italian, with stove, yeah, Kumbula Ushalo, yeah, Kumbula and Sholo, Cotan K, Paratna, Paratu, Imyango, Low, Ongin, Sela, E, Passage, yes, I put it in a stove of the corner, like a Limbako. I remember saying that, but I said it was in the middle. Uh, between uh, the door that now leads uh, to uh, the passage, there is a stove right there or next to it. Now, the second suspect does not manage to open the door where Kelly has, the bedroom door where Kelly has run to. What then happens to this second suspect if you observe that? Manjege, Lona always believe, examine Wakeg, which a vulege, Umyango Loge, or the Camel Kelly Angel Neglonage, a Gapumele Langaglo, Pasequen Zegani Gengai, Lona always be. Jabis and Kazil Guti, Axan Guta push a Gany, no Maga Bilbis Aye, while we push and pull corner lapimia. As I already said to that, it was just not a it was not a matter of him uh, only pushing once or twice and then he stopped. It was a pushing and pulling right there at the door. Yes, I understand that, but what I'm asking is this. Once he did not succeed, after that pushing and pulling, once he <coughs> didn't succeed, Kelly still in the bedroom, right? Kuko ngi aguzo age uma usho logo ma koto age ngi aguzo age uti angi tu kuzami lege logo futi ge agapumile langa koto age guwana logo ukele wa isenga parati kamireni. If you say that he didn't succeed, if you just because I didn't see that he didn't succeed or that there were signs that he didn't succeed. If you can just explain that to me when you say he didn't succeed. 
Did he manage to enter that room where Kelly Kumano was? Why was Butanga in the Lokamero Kelly away alone? No. Then my question is that after that, when he couldn't enter that room, what happened to him? Where did he go? In the Buzayoga Uguti, a move of a local way, the Sanga Wazanga, Butanga in the Lokamera, why up? Lalila and Jobis and Kazi, the Gutwabi, the action air in the Galapan. So my air a land and Lukeli, a Gamereni, and then Ulongo, a pushalo, Wama dreads, Wam Salem movers, a Suguma song, Samba to Dula Zayan application. Ah, listen here, yeah, what then happens? All of that was like in uh, an, act, an action. So when uh, he did that, that's when Longo stood up and then uh, pushed uh, this one. And uh, we all then stood up and pushed them, went with them towards uh, the, uh, to the kitchen. Now, just to track back a bit, when the second suspect entered the house, the first suspect says, money and cell phones, we want money and cell phones to that effect. What did this second suspect say, if anything at all? Now, Jamba Lower Kala Omengen, a Wati Kipani Imali, and a cell phone. Oma go go to the lowest bill, go call now a go show you any hour you show in lowest bill. No, he didn't say anything. And at the time of this incident, where are the children, Kelikumalo's children? Yes, Kati, yes, this is Kamego again. Eh, babe gupi ge abantu ana baga tevi. Eh, man kumbula ga su Christian wa iloke ya pants pe zulu. Go to team of us and give me tati nenga umla lise kamere. If I remember well, Christian was moving up and down, but I had already taken Tingo uh, to, go, uh, to, to the bedroom to sleep. Now, let's come to this aspect of <coughs> Longo Twala pushing the first suspect out or away and then him leaving the house via the kitchen door. I guess this is a good goal, Taba. Loake, Ulongo Twalage, it's a Sugumage, it's a push alone, Nage, Owo Pala, was a Pumayen. Now, the person that you say Longwe Twala <coughs> pushed is the first suspect, the one with dreadlocks and the one in possession of a firearm, correct? Lona Oti wa push wa Longwe, ilo owo kala, owa inama dreadlocks, futi e peti spam, angit? Yes, that's correct. Now, when you say Longwe, stands up, approaches this first suspect and pushes him. The person with the firearm at the time, is the firearm still pointed at the people in the house? Uba utige ulongwe wa suguma, waya wa konda giena, wa se impusha. Ingabe ngale so skatige lo uwa kala ispam wa isa skombile e kombe abandu. Munoma esa ni kombile ngaso ngale so skatu ulongwe agwenza loko. Was come, but got too long. We may push it a little, push it to go. Sa sa sa, so that Tina will go away. Say say say. Ah, yes, he pointed the firearm at us. But then, when Longwe pushed him aside, then it means that it was now uh, uh, not pointing at us uh, anymore because he moved. Let's perhaps stick with this with this for uh, topic seven. The first aspect, according to your testimony, is is pushed by Longwe Twala. Uh, remind me again where Longwe Twala was seated. Doesn't come with a foot with too long, or it says you can end up. Too long, or it says like Tallinn. Longwe was seated where the witness is pointing, uh, right at the, the beginning of the couch. And when he pushes the first suspect, where does he push him to, or against what, relative to that picture? Uma impusha, umpushela gupi, or umausebenza istombe desian. 
Uh, it's not visible on this uh, photo, but he pushed him uh, towards uh, the passage. If I may request that perhaps photo 58 be shown. I'll come to that. There's a photo that I made. I'll come back to that. And now, when Longwe pushes this first suspect away, what does the first suspect do? Oma Ulongo is saying push again. When Zani get in, I'll push away. I'll push along. What's that? So I move. You move backwards. And the second suspect. What does it do as long as pushes the first suspect? Man, Jake, when Zani low is busy, Oma Ulongo is push along. We call. We come back and we say say that we're here. As far as I can recall, he was still there uh, at the door. But what I'm asking is, did he take any action or he didn't? I'm so I can't recall that well. And what was the Back in Dalgis, my lord. We're looking for that. We're back in Dalgis. I'm looking for the oh. accounting police. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Perhaps the, the previous question uh, to clarify Longwe is seated towards the right of that sofa. He stands up and pushes. There's a what looks like a heater there. Mm -hmm. Relative to that, where does the first suspect? In fact, what happens to him when he's pushed? Does he fall off? Does he stumble? What happens to the first suspect when he's pushed? Yes, he's pushed. He just moved backwards as the witness is uh, just indicating that uh, he wasn't that well balanced. Now, let's make this make sense. The first suspect in possession of a firearm gets pushed by somebody from the house in a robbery situation, yet he does nothing after he's been pushed. That should be left for argument. Speculation. Because you are saying he does nothing. A little and she argument. is saying he was pushed and from his from her observation he must have lost his balance. That's what I leave that for argument at the close of the case. Mm. Now, before Longwe pushed the first suspect away or off, did you at any stage hear the cocking or the wrecking of a gun at any point? Uh, uh, no, I don't recall.
Now, after how long, after long we had escaped from the house, according to your evidence, does the first shot get fired? Kuse muva kweskati esinga ganan ulongwe epumile engine ngokumbu la wako ukuma kwespa muskuma isanja lokal. Mwa zwami angazen pekiskati and the magune saga isi saga lo esinje iskati is the last thing on your mind. As far as I know, I never looked at the time and when such an incident occurs or takes place, uh, time is the last thing on your mind. Now that, in fact, I jumped the gun, let me start here. Your evidence is that after long we had escaped from the house, all of you stand up from your relative position from the couches and you all approach the first suspect, push him towards the kitchen, correct? Uti kufaka zibako emuva kwa kuti ulongo wege eseba legi legi mese kumilege enjini na senonge ni sugu mage naya ulo uwakala ni mtutula nama ni mpushi Saba tutula buba bili as tatango yetu wa nomu mute nomu mfishan saba tutula bonke buba bili sana bikishi We pushed both of them we didn't take the short one or the tall one we pushed both of them to the kitchen And when you say all of you stood up, who is there a specific person who initiated, who stood up first or initiated this uh, approach of the first suspect and the pushing that happened thereafter? Oma uti nonke ingabu kona yini owa suku makala kwa uyena age otala yoke uguti atutulege ulona uotala Uma uti nje na suguma nonke. Ngabu kwa na yini owa kwa wa wiena o suguma kala wa pusha. Kankumbulu utubani wa suguma kala kwa tangi ya zuguti za suguma. No, I can't remember or recall as to who stood up first, but I remember that we stood up. Now, you... At the time of the incident, how old was Christian, uh, the boy? Yes, Kati. When they got look, oh, Christian, when they meet him, Nadi. The man got pazami. Oh, Christian, we know about 2010. Some boy lago three four. Ah, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Christian was born in 2010. So between, he was between three and four. Now, as you are pushing both suspects, none of you from the house are screaming to alert the neighbors that there's something wrong in your house. None of you are pushing both suspects. None of you are screaming to alert the neighbors that there's something wrong there was a noise. But what I don't know is to whether the neighbors heard because our door was closed. Let, 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 let me break it down because you say I'm asking about screaming, you're talking about Umsindo. Did you pers personally scream to alert? Somebody out there that there's a problem in your house. When I'm coming away, in our example, one man says, "And you go to the bar, you know, my best way." Oh, my fellow, I'm going to call now. We're going to get into it. No, I don't remember that. And by the way, from the witness statements of the watches, your neighbors. At one three five one zero, Kutano Street. Eh, we that mean the Zoma Kelwane Bako, no Zoma no Oma Kelwane, one three five one zero, oh, Nache. 
Mr. Ngwache, senior the ex-police officer, Bulelani, they say in Mzama section, your section, there's a whistleblowing system in terms of which each house has a whistle, your, your, like your soccer whistle, and each time there's a crime or something wrong within that community in Mzamo section, a whistle is blown to alert the neighbors and the community generally that there's something wrong in a particular household where that whistle emanates from. You know about that? I'm going to ask you, Mr. Ramosu Pile, just to be short. And then, okay. Okay. Right. okay, but I've, I've got it, it's fine. All right. Uh, the statement is that 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 the that I know. I once heard about it, but at home we didn't have that whistle, or we, we didn't have the whistle. I'll, I'll take your answer, and just to complete this point. And in fact, on that day, most of the people that converged at the house came because Mr. Ngwashe himself was on the street blowing that whistle. Uh, what I can say is that I went as far as my peer's house or I reached my peer's house and I never heard a whistle. I went to hospital, I never heard that whistle. As to where he was standing, he can tell. That will be the last, loudest whistle to be heard from your house to the hospital. That will be the biggest whistle in the world. Sorry, did Mr. Nashe make a statement? He did, my lord. Is that what he says in his statement? That's correct, Mr. Okay. Uh, my lord. Uh, we just want to place on record. Yeah. We came to hear last week that Mr. Nashe Sr. has unfortunately passed on. Oh, the same gentleman. Um, I, I, I'm here to inform my yeah, okay. That's the senior, my lord. So. Now, by your own admission, your kitchen area is a very tiny space, correct? Yes, that's correct. Now, if I may request that uh, photo 15 of exhibit D be shown to you, please. Now, when, when, when this fighting with the two suspects, as you testified to yesterday, occurs, where were you relative to this picture? This picture, especially, doesn't depict the kitchen uh, as a whole. I'm looking for them to perhaps get a better picture for us that shows 
from the beginning of the kitchen door on the passage side. Uh, whilst he's doing that, your testimony is that during this fight, you saw one of Tumelo Madala's crutch, and then you went next to the heater. We saw where the heater was. That's why I want to find out, before I even ask that question, where you were you know, relative to this picture. Okay, uh, perhaps I'll come to, to it after uh, the tea break if we've got tea in Pretoria today. <laughs> <laughs> but be that as it may, I'll come to this point. Uh, let me just put an asterisk next to it and we'll see where to take it. Which point is it? Where two menos catch was it's in the found? It's on the other side where there's a heat am I not? So I want to find out from here, when she says she saw it, and then she went to take it to come and perhaps use it in the fight, that's what I want to find out more. Yeah, that's the evidence. She says she picked, sorry, you are recalling well saying you did pick up the crutch. Yeah, the kumbulan get you to while the crutch. Yes. I leave it, I'll come to it. Now, let's move on. Your evidence is that you picked up this crutch and then you wanted to hit a suspect. Which suspect was that, by the way? She logged over to I call Shaga, a crutch, a layer of Shayaga, I'm sorry, a mopil of an orphan of Shaga. Suspect number two. Suspect number two. And in your attempt to hit him, suspect number two, you then realize that you couldn't reach. And that's when Tumelo Madala takes the crutch from you and hits the second suspect, correct? That's correct. What was the reason for you not to be able to reach that suspect to hit him with that crutch. First Firstly, I'm short. And secondly, there was there were those that were in front of me, but I can't remember well as to who those were. I'll, I'll revert to that evidence uh, after tea, because that's exactly the point where I want to head in uh, the tiny confines of that kitchen and the number of people that were involved in that fight in that tiny space. Uh, my Lord, I'm not sure today we are having a comfort or a tea break at this point. Are you tired of cross-examining? <laughs> at this point, my Lord, I am. Yeah. Just for 15 minutes. Okay. Oh. I, I'm, I'm not sure everybody agrees on my left, my lord. I'm the minutes. first one to agree. Okay. Mr. Maloui, okay. what time is it? Okay. Yes, no, we can resume at, um, it's now 14 minutes past 11. You can resume at half past. Half past. Okay. Guaranteed. Uh,